uh, on politics and economics you stay in Mexico. You have the floor. Thank you. Well, before, before start, I, I want to ask you, I think all of, all of us here just have access to, to internet service or to use social media. How, how many of you have, have been in contact with your local authority or how, or, or how many of you have taken part of democratic processes in, in your own locality? If you can raise your hand. Please. All right, like 50 people. And uh, how many of you have been, uh, have shared some information with your local authorities or, or with your networks through social media? I think it would be more correct. And how many of you have consulted information of your local uh, website uh, authority or, or your local council? Uh, I don't know, for, for the provision of goods and services? No, me too. I have to. Well, I think I have to do the, 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 the last two questions. Uh, let me open this. Well, the question here is how, how do we how can we use this media, uh, this new social media, to improve democracy processes uh, in our local places? Uh, I think I think that the, the main question we have, uh, we should ask when when I receive all the information. Well, I, I will start by doing, uh, explaining what, what we do in Mexico. Participan for Mexico uh, for Mexico uh, is an organization uh, that is trying to improve democracy. Uh, in, Mex in Mexico through the use of new social, social media. But we're trying to improve uh, democracy in local, you know, in, a, in local countries. I mean, how, how, you, can, how you can organize your neighbors, how, how, can you, how can you use this, this new social media not only to, to contact with your authorities but to generate critical information, really unrealistic for the, for the Ukrainian, for the, the Ukrainian public that as a question, how, how can we generate real and realistic and very proper information in local context? And we're trying to we're trying to do to, to use this kind of tools to improve democracy, decision making processes in local authorities. I think that's the main reason why 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 I'm here to to explain how how, how to do this. When I receive the information, I, I, I first uh, I first receive a an statement that. I think it's, it's accurate to say it was the advent of the internet and the, okay. <laughs> the advent of the internet of the new media, the 2.0 side today. Uh, Mr. Barak and already already speak uh, uh, about this also, Madame Eramini. How, the, how these tools constitute, well, it's a stem, constitutes the greatest democratic revolution of the recent years. And just to use this, uh, the democratic adjective as you know, as a statement, I think it's quite, it's quite complex. And, and this is the main question, what are we talking about democratic revolutions or evolutions? If we think that, that are the new social media help to, to organize demonstrations or help to, to mobilize people, then, then I mean, it's a tool. But it doesn't mean that, that it that helps or improves democratic processes in our countries. You can use to mobilize people to, to go to, I don't know, to to go to play a, a soccer match or to go to a, to a movie, it's, I mean, you can, it's a tool for organization, it's a tool for communication. There's a lot of definition of, of, of new social media, but you're, you're using the, democrat, the democratic adjective, it implies a lot more things than, the, than we think. And the question that, that we were asked to, to, to answer was, should this new area of freedom be regulated? And, and well, I think that, that the pertinent question to, 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 to make uh, to make us is how can we procure that internet offers high quality information and that new media is helpful to, to democratic processes? Uh, I think it's very important to understand that democracy is not the same as democratization. Democratization implies another kind of movement, another kind of organization, but then the, I mean but democracy by itself uh, all of us know that it's a, a complex term to, to explain, but I only want to, to make the difference with democratization. There is a, a phrase that we use in, in, in our organization that is, there is no, no democracy without citizens. You have heard this, week, there are no democracy without democrats. And that's a, a, a phrase that Freddie Ever has used in, in Germany, I think. 
most of some of you will will know. Well, the question is, if, if, if we want to, in, in a modern democracy, uh, if the government and community must guard the idea of protecting two basic liberties, and you know, as, di as dialogue and free speech, we're talking about two specific, two, two specific, uh, two specific parts that we have to ensure for any government, for any democracy or any government. Open and free competition among ideas in all kinds of media. And that, I think, also answers the question of the of the republic that, that, that just uh, participated. If, if we ensure the open and free competition among any media, even uh, even television or radio, we will find in, in a lot of countries that it controls. And there is another question, how, how can information can be manipulated or not? But if we assure that, at least in internet or in new social media, we are one step forward in democracy. Even if they use it to organize the, the, the soccer match or not, or organize a, a neighborhood meeting to solve a public a specific problem. And the second one is how, to, how, how can we empower uh, minorities to ensure deliberation, once again, in any media? We cannot ensure truthfulness in media through regulation. It has been tried in, in some countries. I will, I, will try to, I will put an example of Mexico. In the last federal elections, the, the Federal Electoral Committee tried to, tried to control the, the truthfulness of information. So they say, or uh, every, every, uh, every negative message for another candidate is completely forbidden. All right? And then, and then in the campaign, was supposed that the candidates cannot tell to the opposition uh, negative messages. I will not use the example because I think there are, <laughs> it, it, it's not that bad, but at the end of the day, they use new social media to, to promote negative messages for the other candidates. At the end, it was, was not possible to control through traditional media. Even in new social media, the, you know, the, 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 the campaign war was incredibly, incredibly uh, high, I don't know how to, how to say it, but was, was really intense uh, between the candidates with negative messages. <laughs> So, if internet has been media regulated, it's easy to ensure uh, equal opportunities for all individuals to exercise their civil and political rights. I will explain how how, how, is, how it is possible. First, what is needed is, is needed to protect five specific five specific things. Access has been already uh, already said today and and yesterday in the main presentation. Free access to internet services so everybody can have opportunity to express themselves. And this, and this means a lot of things. It's investment in infrastructure. It's investment. It's investment in, in, in broadening the, you know, all the all the networks in, in some countries. Uh, I think in Guinea, I was seeing the, some statistics. Only one percent of the population have access to internet. One percent of the population. I mean, is how, how can how can we assure the access or or the free access to internet? Uh, if there are no investments, if there are no development. So I think it's combined with some other variables that, that we have to, to take care of. Uh, the second is the private interest, no manipulation by the company owners of the communication platform. I think that has to be regulated. Of course it's complex. So of course we never, we'll never uh, fulfill like a, a complete regulation, but I think it's, it's really necessary to regulate the private interest. In new social media, this is easier. So, I mean, this is easier because everyone can say whatever they want, you know? We have, we have to assure that they don't, uh, they, they don't over, uh, overpass or another, another, another right. So, I think that the, that's the second one we have to take care of. The, third, the first is privacy. I, I want to put three examples, uh, two examples, two specific. The, the USA federal court, for some some persons of the of the movement of the Wall Street to give some all all obligated Twitter to give the information of direct messages from Twitter that that some persons of the movement uh, have sent be, be, be Twitter among them. So they, there was that that was supposed to be private. Uh, and they use the media, the new social media, to organize themselves. But the federal law said, "No, we want to know exactly what happened, so you have to give us all the information." Uh, 
I think there's a line that, ha that has to be drawn uh, at some point. What is private and what is public? Uh, what is, if you use new social media, everything, be uh, everything becomes public? I have no idea. I think that that's not. That, 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 that shouldn't happen. Uh, and the other example is that Facebook is, is selling pri private information. I will go it. It's, it's private information. So, is <laughs> selling our private information to, to some security agencies of a pack name and some agreements with the federal US government, uh, you know, to share some 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 information. So I think we have to, to take care take take care about it. And it has to be regulated to put the limit of, of the private of the privacy issue. The program is to assure to not interfere in any group uh, of publication and inclusion of any political views that is correct of speech. Uh, of the speech. And the last one is the rule of law. We can ensure that no violations of human rights and punishes uh, felons as, as shall for no. I think it's the, it's the main example. Uh, I think we have to, to avoid any crime that we avoid normally in, in all our countries. So everything that is regulated, any any crime, frauds, um, we are talking about, I, I put another example of credit, credit card for, uh, fraud. I think it's something that has to be to be regulated. Uh, and then uh, the main thing is we have to promote governance to new media. Not to only organization, not only organization, not only mobilization. It's governance. At the end of the day is the 2.0 democracy, is the uh, you know is democracy taking forward uh, mobilization. So there are five specific ideas. It's Reach the, reach the liberation of ideas through new social media. At the end of each of, of, of each uh, of each phrase, just at at new social media, <laughs> and then at the end of the day, is what we are trying to do to improve the mo local local democracy is vandalize and attempt attempts of manipulations in new social media, participatory mechanisms, quality verifiable information. Uh, all the time, we have to doubt about the information in in internet and media in all media, and I think and I think. In internet, it's more important to doubt about the information we, take, we read all the time. So, so then after we after we doubt about that information, we try to verify if it's true or not, if it's uh, if it's confident information or if we can trust in that if it's trustable information or not. And the protection of the full exercise of rights of political and electoral rights in active social media once again. And then, and then we we'll try to in the in the system related government relationship, you have to promote, you know, the accountability relations, responsiveness, contestability, and, and the democratic lawmaking. We, you have to cherish those those kind of processes. You have to take part of. You know, the, the first the first four questions I I made you is 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 related with this uh, is related with these points. Is how can you how, how can you relate with your with the local governments in those terms? Uh, well, if we protect the, the right to access of citizens and use of internet, we can we can in fact accelerate the process in which democracy can improve the quality of deliberations, decisions, and outcomes. The thing is that internet is not enough. I mean, social media is not enough. One, 140 characters are not enough to, to improve democracy. One million of friends in Facebook, two billion of users of internet in, in, in the world is not enough to improve democracy. Communication does not imply accountability. Communication does not imply participation. Communication does not improve by itself relations between, between people, organizations, and, and government. Uh, just one last thing is uh, well, there are three ways to to do it. How can we focus on improving democracy with new media? There are three specific ways to do it, and it's related once again with the questions I, I, I did at the first. Is the thing that in our organization are trying to do to do in Mexico first. We have to generate uh, investigative, investigating and trusting, uh, untrustable and verifiable content, content generators. Sorry for my Spanish, sometimes the accent is quite... <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not uh, completely clear for it. First, to, to, to create content generators. How, how in local authorities, how organized people can generate information 
and, and spread it in new social media. The second is spreading that information, share it with all the, with, with, with all the, the people that are interested, and new actors. At the end of the day, of the day is something that, that is useful for the new social media, to contact the, the, the politicians with the people to, to take some decision. If I have a problem and then I can write a tweet to, to my local authority, hey, you know, in my street there's a call. Can you, can you come and, you know, and fix it? If he replies, I think it's, it's a very simple example. But that's the power of media. At the end of the day, I don't have to go to the office and knock the door and say, hey man, there's a hole in my, in my street, can you fix it? That's, you know, we, we use the tool at the end of the day to solve a specific public local problems. Just a, a statistic, 62% of adults go out now use new social media. I'm pretty sure less than 0.00% use those media to, to solve public local a specific problem. Uh, and well, uh, I want to make some questions just to, to promote the, the debate. Is how does people get used to these tools, not only for proper demonstration, but to solve public, public specific issues and to take part in, in public decisions? How can we protect these means for collective action? What should the government role should be when it comes to regulations? So the conclusion is a technological revolution and a new media revolution is already here. We have to use this tool to boost democracy with technology, technological revolution. Thank you very much. So, uh, you've been very clear. Uh, the internet can certainly be a means of democratization, provided that we don't make too many illusions and we accept certain rules. And you said five aspects must be protected from access down to the rule of law. And I absolutely agree with you and with your vision. The problem is that when governments uh, try to intervene on the internet, Right away, a movement against touching the internet, pro freedom of the internet, uh, steps up. Now, probably there should be a, a global authority, not authority, a global entity that provides some sort of protection for the five points you have mentioned. But the question is that setting up such a global entity becomes difficult because the divide. Uh, regarding the internet among countries, democratic, non-democratic, dictatorships, the question of censorship comes up. So it's very difficult to somehow be uh, global on this. The most global thing, it's very difficult to be uh, somehow, not regulated, but uh, yeah, somehow regulated on a global level. And that's why uh, national governments and international entities have such a hard time, I guess. Feel, uh, and I can understand in countries where there's no democracy, the internet is really something that can allow people to participate and to move ahead. In other countries, like for example in my country, the issue of data protection, <coughs> individual protection going over the internet is a big issue. But each time we touch it, we do it at our own danger. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go ahead. Uh, I will now please...